Hello friends, welcome to the next session. Here we are going to study different examples of context free grammar. So basically over here what are we going to do is we are going to write the productions given the regular expression. So we know regular expression, we know the language generated by the regular expression. Now we are going to generate the grammar for the regular expression. So let's get started. <music> So the first one in the regular expression I have A. If A is the regular expression, we know that the language is going to consist of only A, right? And the grammar production for this is going to be my S as the start variable giving me single A. Meaningly, what I want to say is my S can derive a A and this A further cannot derive anything. The reason is A is terminal. Had there been any capital letter over here, I say that the derivation could be further taken ahead. But over here, since A is deriving A, it cannot go ahead and that is the end of the production. Second one, if I have B, the language, the context free language which is going to be generated will be simply B and the context free grammar over here will be S gives small b. Similarly, if I have A plus B, remember when I say A plus B, that means either A will be selected or B will be selected. So I have the language, the CFL as A or B. Similarly, my CFG over here will be either A or a B generated over here. Going ahead, I have A dot B. When I say A dot B, we travel from A all through crossing the B till the destination. So the language is simply AB and the grammar over here also is going to be S derives AB. Let's look at some of the complicated examples. Now, the next one which I have is A star. We all know A star is zero or more repetitions of A which was also called as the closure of a language. So the context free language for this will be epsilon A, double A, triple A, four A, so on and so forth. Now, you can pause the video for a minute and think, what are we going to have the CFG of this? We want to generate a CFG such that it is capable of regenerating the same thing again and again. So I say over here that my S can give me small a and capital S. If I say S is going to give me small a and capital S followed by or epsilon. Now let's say if I want to generate epsilon, my S will simply derive epsilon and the string is generated. If I want to derive a single a, my S will be deriving AS and this S will further derive epsilon. So A dot epsilon is going to be simply A. If I have to derive AA, in that case, my S will derive AS. This, uh, this S in turn will further derive AS. Therefore, I have AAS with me. And finally, this last S will derive me epsilon and A dot A dot epsilon is going to be double A. So on and so forth, the same thing will be repeated again and again to encounter more repetitions of A. Therefore, remember a very more important conclusion over here of CFG. It says for A star, the representation of the production is going to be S gives AS or epsilon, where epsilon means nothing, no string or a string of length zero. Going ahead, A plus. For A plus, the language is A, double A, triple A, four A's till infinity. Therefore, the CFG will be S gives AS slash A. So if I want to generate a single A, my S will give me small A. 
if I want to generate 2s, s gives as, which s in further gives once again as, that gives me total of 3s. If I want to generate 2s, s gives as and next s gives simple a, so on and so forth to generate a plus language. Now the next is, if I want to generate a b whole star, so a b whole star is zero or more repetitions of a b. So the language is going to be epsilon a b, a b a b, a b a b a b up to infinity. So to generate this particular thing, I have to follow exactly the same thing which I did in case of A star. For A star, I had S gives AS. So for AB star, I will have S gives ABS followed by epsilon. Next problem. Let us say I want A plus B whole star. Now for A plus B whole star, we know the solution is going to be any combination of A's and B's. So I can have epsilon A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, B, A, B, 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 A till infinity. So a lot of combinations are possible. Now as we understood that this representation is very important similarly the equivalent representation of this in context free grammar is also important so since we are doing it for the first time i want you to pay 100 percent attention and make this fit in your brain whenever i say what is going to be the cfg plot a plus b whole star it is going to be s gives as or bs or epsilon you can check supposedly i want to derive a b a so i say s gives a s further this s is going to give me b s and further this s is going to give me a s and lastly this s derives me epsilon so if i join all these inputs what i get is a b a epsilon which is nothing but a b a let us take one more random input. Maybe I am interested in generating B A B A B B. So my S is going to give me B S. A is S is again going to give me A S. So I have this generated. I have this generated. S further gives me B S to have B generated. S further gives me A S to have my A generated. S further gives me B S to have my B generated and further it gives me once again B S to have my B generated. Going down S ultimately builds a epsilon and the string is B A B A B B as expected. So for A plus B star the context free grammar or the equivalent context free grammar will be S gives A S or B S or epsilon. Having understood all these examples, now we are actually going to move on to some of the problems and see whether given a question to us, are we able to write the equivalent context-free grammar for the same. So let's do that in the next session. Thank you.